Hey everyone, how are you doing? Uh, not walking right now, obviously I'm out getting some sun, so I just thought I'd share some things around that. And I just watched, uh, I like to watch videos while I'm getting my sunshine, so I just watched an excellent video by Thomas DeLauer, and it was about um, the benefits of sauna post-exercise. He was kind of exploring whether it's better pre-exercise or post-exercise, and you know, the long story short is when you get out of the sauna, there's a relaxation uh, effect on your body. And that's not something you want before you exercise, but you definitely want that after you exercise. The other things that they found that were, you know, positive association with just getting that sauna-like exposure. And, you know, he was citing studies that were as short as 20 minutes of exposure to a sauna. Uh, but the after effects were things like more catalase, which helps with, um, you know, re reduction of uh, basically uh, hydrogen peroxide, which is a re reactive oxygen species, something that's produced by our bodies during various activities, um, but it's something that we want to get rid of. Uh, and so this uh, catalase helps to neutralize this uh, hydrogen peroxide that builds up in the body. Uh, other things that uh, he was talking about were um, you know, a boost of superoxide dismutase and glutathione, which are both antioxidants that the body produces. So again, you know, you can get um, antioxidants from your food, but honestly, the best antioxidant is going to be the one that your body can make. So if you're providing your body a nutrient-dense, animal-based diet, that will go a long way towards helping with production of uh, glutathione. Um, and, you know, so, you know, just some things to think about. There's all sorts of other benefits that you get from exposure to sunshine. Sunshine is one of those things that um, just going out, getting some sun exposure and uh, getting that exposure to maybe the humidity and the heat as well, which emulates that sauna. Um, it's something that we would have been exposed to in the past. It's something our ancestors would have been exposed to. So. Um, other benefits that you get from, you know, sunshine is boost in serotonin, which helps with your, your mood, right? Boost in melatonin as a result, which helps with sleep. Boost in ATP, which is energy production. If you're going to work out, then, you know, you want to be able to make sure that you've got good ATP production. So just getting that sun exposure might help with your workout the next day. Um, in addition to those things that he was mentioning, like catalase, superoxide dismutase, um, and glutathione, which all are going to help with recovery. Um, there's other things like nitric oxide and NAD+, which are also going to help with recovery. So um, all these things are benefits of just going out and maybe getting a morning walk or going out in the afternoon and getting 20 minutes of sunshine. So something that you really should strongly consider um, if you can get some sun exposure during the day definitely get some and uh, you know I would say any is better than none so even if you can't get out for 20 minutes then whatever you can get is going to be better than nothing um, you'll be getting vitamin D and and other benefits as well so uh, a lot of benefits of sunshine I've just touched on a few but um, Hope you uh, enjoy this information. So go out and get your sun, all right? And uh, have a great day. See you later.